What's good, fam? This your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a key group from a single sample. All right, so let's begin. Um, a lot of times you may find a kit. Let's, let's go to another track here. A lot of times you'll find a kit where you may like one particular sample, and you may want to use that sample to play it out like a keyboard. And... This trick right here will show you how to do it. This is one of the new things in the 2.11 update for the MPC. So let's do this. Let's start a new project. Don't save. Okay, so I'm just gonna find a kit, any kit, I don't care. Let's find, let's find a kit and let's find a short sample, like a stab. Sorry for my voice, y'all. I've been under the weather the past the past week, so I haven't been doing too many videos. I've been laid up in the bed, sick. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. So sorry if I haven't come out with no videos lately. All right. So we got this drum. So we got this drum kit here. I'm just gonna look for a short sample stab that I like. We're gonna try this sample right here. Okay, we're gonna turn that sample into a key group so you can play it like a keyboard in any scale, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you hit the, the pad that you want first to change into a key group. That's that. Next thing you wanna do is go up here where it says tools and go to where it says current sample to key group. Click that. And it automatically changes your sample to a key group now. So this sample will play in the key of C. C major to be exact. And let's try it out if everything works well. Whoa, whoa. Let's let's bring up the octave a little bit so you can hear that. Okay, so that's how you can play it like a sample. I mean, play it like a keys. Let's change it to the key of D. Change it to the key of, I don't know, G. Okay, let's change the, uh, let's change the scale. Let's change it to a minor scale. Okay, now you could do this. I'm doing it with short samples because it makes it easier and it it makes it easier and more detailed for you to hear um, the different keys and the different scales. If I chose a sample that has like a, a chord stab, these are like note stabs that I got right here. It's a, it's a note stab. I could have chose a chord stab, but sometimes the notes in the chord may conflict with what I'm trying to do here under pad perform. So that's why I chose the note instead, okay? And from here, like I said, you can change to any scale. Go to scale, go to, go to blues. That sounds like a blues scale, and I got that from that one sample. Uh, this is pretty, pretty big. This is one of the biggest, one of my favorite updates in the 2.11, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> the NPC software still has a little bit of ways to go as far as uh, fixing some bugs and fixing, uh, making some enhancements to the software overall. But this right here was one of my favorite. Uh, this, between this, the Ratchet. Uh, there's a couple other features I like in the 2.11 update. But this is how you change a current sample into a key group. I hope this was able to help you. It's a real short video. Still under the weather. I'm about to go get some medicine and lay down. <clears throat> I hope you liked this video. Please like the video if you like it. Please comment below if you want to see another type video. 
Uh, if you want to see another video tutorial on the NPC or mixing in general, and if it's your first time, make sure you click the link, the first link in the description below if it's your first time, and download my free drum kit. It's a free drum kit. It's my thanks to you for watching this video. If you've been here before, make sure you check out some of the stick. Make sure you check out the kits from the Loop Masters kits below and check out the Loop Cloud. You're going to really like Loop Cloud. Like, it's one of those things that I can't even live without no more. I, with, with Loop Cloud, I haven't had any, I haven't had any, how y'all say, say it? Um, what's the word? I don't get those mental blocks. Yeah, beat blocks. That's it, beat blocks. I haven't had any beat blocks since I had Loop Cloud, and I've had Loop Cloud for about a year now. So I make beats at will, any key, anything. And uh, the only thing that limits me right now with Loop Cloud is my imagination. So my advice to you, uh, click the Loop Cloud link, because all those sounds in Loop Cloud, uh, how can I say this? You could, you could buy the kits from Loop Masters, and they'll be outright yours, or you could sign up for Loot Cloud. It's a subscription service, and those sounds will come from Loot Masters. So you could, you know, I'll leave I'll leave a uh, video link in the end of this video here. <clears throat> you could check it out. Uh, also, yeah, just click the link below. Check it out. Also, if you are new here and you want to check out some of the stuff I have in my studio, I left some Amazon links below. You can check it out there. You can also shop through those links. Those are my affiliate links. Uh, what else? And that's it, man. I hope you like this video, man. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button, and share this video with anybody you know who has an NPC software, anyone who's looking to get into making beats, and uh, make sure they save my playlist. I have a whole playlist of about 20 videos and, and growing. Uh, yeah, just, just hit me up, man. I'm here. So, all right. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com, music production tips. I hope you like this video. Check out all the product, check out all the producer goodies in the description below, and I'm out. Peace.